Well, here we go. I've been drinking <laughs> Wicked Joe's Organic French Roast. How are you? When I, when I get up in the morning, I have two great big glasses of water. I kind of drink a lot of water as a camel early in the morning because it's tough to, like, stop and go if I'm doing grocery store. Hi, Freddie. If I'm doing grocery store or <laughs> Instacart work. And, um... And I put salt in my filtered water just for the electrolytes. And I put it in the coffee by mistake. So I've been drinking salted black coffee. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, good golly, Miss Molly. Oh, my God. Was that little Richard? Wow. I'm really dating myself. It is busy. It is hot. It is humid out there. Oh, Wow. What a summer we're having here on Cape Cod. I can't believe how crowd, crowded and crazy it is. I can't believe what people pay for food. Be it Instacart, be it um, drive up and go that I do, or cashiering. I mean, it's just, it's not unusual to have a, a bill total $400. I, I had this grandmother uh, come in. And she's got four grandsons staying with her and working, you know, at jobs on the Cape in the summer, which is a kind of a traditional thing. You know, the grandparents retire to Cape Cod and the grandkids come and kind of stay and hustle to make money for college expenses. It's always been something that worked. And if you couldn't, if you were lucky, you didn't stay with Grammy. You rented a house with all your college buddies and had wild parties and ruined the house. <laughs> that was another thing that they did. But this grandmother was like shell shocked at the prices of things, and and it's so funny when the, you know, all the uh, data comes out and they say that prices, you know, food prices have increased five percent. No, they haven't. I mean, steak, you know, what's on sale for nine dollars a pound for like, you know, sirloin strip steak. Or, I mean, sirloin tips is is like, you know, it's nineteen dollars when it's not on sale. So. No, that's not 5%. That's like 55%, right? Or 100%, excuse me. Math not being my strong suit. Anyway, it is crazy out there, and I haven't even looked at what my ratings are for Instacart when I did my dip down to um, 4.93 from my little snarky entitled people. Let's see what it says today. 4.93, I'm still there. And just like Instacart dude says, for some reason, you know, we've gone from where they captured a lot of our ratings, our five-star ratings, and now it's like, you know, under 50, and they do their, you know, razzle-dazzle on it to come up with things. I really don't like Instacart. You know, I really, who knows? But Corner Shop um, is coming to Boston, so I'm not sure if that means Cape Cod as well, but I went on. I didn't know they were affiliated with Uber. I'm kind of late to the party. But, you know, if something's not here, then I'm not really doing a lot of research about it. But so it could be here. They'd be wise to be here. So I filled out the application and did all the front and back of the license and the car insurance and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see. But that would be a nice, you know, take this Instacart <laughs> movement. Um, Yeah. So the drive up and go has been incredibly busy. Why wouldn't it? Why why come to the store with your screaming kids along with everybody else with their screaming kids to buy $400 worth of groceries when you can have drive up and go, just bring it to the trunk of your car, right? I don't know. A lot of people are doing it and it doesn't cost what Instacart charges for every fee. I mean, don't they charge a fee for charging fees at this point? It's crazy. So if you're a customer of Instacart, you're getting screwed too. <laughs> Don't think it's just me venting about being an Instacart shopper. It's, it, the customers really pay a huge price for that service. Whereas you can go to drive up and go and they even have a service that'll deliver that to your house. And the drive up and go charges nothing, nothing. So you can get all the sale prices. I mean, it's crazy. So maybe your stores where you are have the same sort of deal and you can be a um, point pickup driver, PPUP, and um, make some, you know, 
cash that way too, along with your gig work of shopping for others. If Uber and DoorDash um, don't work for you because of the traffic, you know, I, I, I've been, I watch um, Pedro doing his DoorDash videos and, and Joe Gig and other ones that have lasted. Some just come in flash in the pan and they're gone. But um, yeah, the, um, the trips for like $2.74 for DoorDash and Uber, how could they even be worth it when you're sitting there in traffic, you know, with that special person Starbucks iced coffee or two? Crazy, isn't it? So I don't know. I mean, I, I assume that, you know, what we're experiencing now, which is like um, lousy and traffic combined, lousy pay, low tips, no tips, and pay is just a summer thing. And once everybody gets back to where they're going, schools and work and everything else, um, you know, maybe there'll be some normalcy. I don't know. I'm not a predictor. Um, I don't follow the trends. I just I just hustle to uh, fill my coffers and hopefully tuck some little nuts away for the winter if, if it gets really slow or who knows what happens. All I know is that fall, winter, and spring for me with my gig work were always great and the roads were a lot less clogged and it was a profitable way of making some money and People actually, you know, tipping. I mean, at tips, we, we rely so much on tips. It's just, you know, I got a, a personal email from, from somebody that does gig work and they were saying, you know, that because of the batches that are being offered with low to no tips and shoppers are coming in and taking them because, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, hey, 20 in the hand is worth more than me doing this, waiting for somebody that's going to come along and tip, right? At some point, you know, you got to make some money, right? And so a $75 day is better, you know, it's, it's not a $200 day like some of these hustlers claim. Good for them. Great area you live in. What do they all stay home in order? Because the traffic here makes that impossible. But anyway, um, you know, we have to pick and choose. We have to, um, I, I I'm not a big fan of lowering our expert expectations and taking low to no tip batches. I don't think that that's a sane way to go, hence my 4.93, because I took that dumb triple with just such an insulting tip for three batches. And then, you know, the entitled people, you know, dinged me. Karma has a camera, doesn't it? I sure hope so. Anyway. So we do what we do, and sometimes we we don't lower our expectations, but we find places that we can generate some income that can keep us at least in the game of paying, you know, the minimum of what our expenses are each week, each month. It's not easy. Trust me, I know. So I just, you know, I, I was a single parent for many years. My kids were... Um, Huh. three or four and five or six when I got divorced and I got incredibly low child support and nothing. And I didn't, I didn't divorce well. Right. And so I had to hustle, had to hustle, had to hustle delivering newspapers starting at two in the morning and just going all the way through and then going to college at night to make something better of my life. <laughs> you know, the, the highest that job that you could find down here, even with a college education, unless you had specific skills that like, you know, you couldn't get down here. It was like $15 an hour. You died and went to heaven for 600 a week before taxes and all the other things were taken out. And, and those days are just gone. You know, I don't know what people are doing for work. It just seems like everybody retires here with with a pension, whatever that used to be, and um, plenty of money. Maybe their parents that are my age croaked early and left them, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars so they could just kind of coast in their McMansions. I don't know, but I've always been a hustler. I've always done the gig work from newspapers on, cleaning people's houses, you know, just doing side, 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 side work, having 
you know, four to six different kind of hustles, catering and bartending, weddings and, and things like that, along with the regular job, waitressing, which is kind of gig work when you think of it, you know, what you're paid for, or bartending, just crazy jobs that I've had going to used car lots and doing this um, data-driven sheet. It's probably on an app now, but then it was like this written thing and submitting my stack of paperwork, you know, to make an extra hundred a week, which is probably what the Kelly Blue Book relied on, you know, local demographics about what used cars are. And speaking of that, I drove by the Honda lot and they had a 2019 Accord on the lot, 2019, and it was $29,000. That's incredible. Used car lot used car 2019 accord crazy i mean that's like 30,000 used to be the beamer that we all thought we should have or want to have right crazy so you know i'm i'm humbled by the cost of living and the cost of um doing the gig work and happy you know i set out the goal for 100 a day I don't know. I work it every day. I start at like 5.30 in the morning sometimes picking up men that speak no English that work on this, these mansions on Nantucket. They're going to the ferry. They do this every day. They start at 5.30 in the morning. I ask them when they get home. They take the last ferry out from Nantucket. They get home around 8 or 8.30 and then they get up and they do it again. And I pick them up and they've got their little cooler with their lunches or break food and you know, they're hustlers too. And, you know, we're just getting it done. It's, summer is just a blur of of busy. I won't say, you know, lots of money, but it certainly is busy. And I guess at the end of the day, I like being busy because if I wasn't busy, I'd be sitting there, you know, perseverating on how am I going to ever make it, you know. <laughs> you, you only hope that the money lasts as long as your life, right? crazy. So I hope that all of you are, are thinking positive thoughts. You're positive. You're waking up. You're having your coffee without salt in it. Freddie just won't stop telling me he's hungry. Anyway, and you get out there and you make your shekels and you have a great day and you're happy and your reading does what it's supposed to do. <sighs> Instacart. I hope Corner Shop kicks them in the butt right to the curb. Anyway, this has been Sarah. Don't get me started. This has been Sarah, Instacart, Pearls of Wisdom. I hope you have a wonderful day and everything comes true that you're asking for. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.